Almost a year ago, I asked the question, are tiny PCs like this with Intel's N100 chip, or nowadays N150 or even the N200 chip, cheaper than a Raspberry Pi 5 if you put it with the same specs? So 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, uh, case and cooler and all that kind of stuff. And uh, a year ago, it was the case that this was actually about 30 to $40 cheaper than a Pi 5 with the same specs. Today, because of the wonderful RAM shortages we have, in fact, it's just because of, hold on for a second, this one component inside of here, this is now the exact same price within about 50 cents of a fully kitted out Raspberry Pi 5. And that kind of stinks. Uh, a lot of people would build their home labs around these things, and you could get into these for 150, 140 bucks, even cheaper sometimes. Uh, but these usually have either uh, soldered on RAM or they have these, these chips like this, which you could upgrade over time, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can't do that on the Raspberry Pi. But now both of these have increased in price. So this was $206 or $208 for a fully kitted out 16 gig Pi 5 with SSD and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and now it's $246.95. This was like $160 or $140 or $50, depending on the sale that you got. And now it's $246.99. So almost the exact same price for these two things. That stinks. I think that the theme of 2026 for mini PCs, for Raspberry Pis, for all kinds of PC hardware, for anybody that cares about value is going to be find something used or reuse an old system. And uh, I think in the general PC space, I did a video talking about uh, RAM prices kind of coming for everything, not just computers and PCs and servers, but for embedded devices and that kind of thing. I think that if you can be uh, resourceful and use your existing gear in different ways, that's gonna be a lot more valuable and you're gonna save a lot of money this year. And I don't know when the uh, AI bubble will pop and RAM will come back down to normal pricing, but it doesn't sound like the RAM vendors are making big moves to try to alleviate the situation anytime soon. Even if there's a new fab brought online or something, that's gonna be a couple years down the line. So anyway, I just wanna make a quick video because a few people are pointing out these prices have gone up quite a bit and a couple people are asking like, is it cheaper again to buy a Pi if you're building a home lab? Well. It's not cheaper, it's about the same. This is gonna give you a little more performance. This gives you a little more flexibility with IO, with the GPIO, if you're controlling something or building something with Zigbee or whatever, that kind of thing. Or if you need lower idle power, this is three watts versus nine to 10 watts for this. So there's always trade-offs. And of course, used is always gonna be cheaper. But uh, I thought I'd take a look at the numbers, put them together into a quick video and share them with you because it's a little bit depressing, but uh, you know what isn't depressing is learning to do new things with the stuff that you already have. So that's gonna be, I think, the theme that you see in a lot of places this year. Um, sure, I'll be looking at new hardware still. There's a lot of interesting new hardware, and if you have the funding to buy some of that, that's cool. Uh, but if you can make do with the things that you have, that's awesome too. That's why, you know, when I'm testing all these GPUs on the Raspberry Pi, my idea there is you might have an old GPU or find one that maybe NVIDIA or AMD have kind of abandoned support for, but you could put it on a Pi and do some fun things with it, from gaming to running large local language models to uh, running Frigate and doing security system stuff on it, whatever kind of cool things you want to do. So anyway, I don't think that these are going to be coming down in price anytime soon. I think that we just had a really cool year or two where we could get these nice mini PCs, some good hardware for a good price, and that's kind of behind us for now. Um, but if you can find some good used hardware, that's still out there. And I also forgot to mention, if you're not going to need mini PC specs with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD, or you have a use case that you don't even need an SSD, you can still buy a Pi 5 one or two gig for like 40 to 50 bucks. So, you know, if you don't need that horsepower, don't get that horsepower. You can still get new hardware that has low specs on it. Um, or you can even buy a Pi 4 or a Pi 0 2W or something like that. If you just need a little Linux thing, to run remote. Anyway, I'll see you soon.